strangers. Hey, hola, ¿qué tal? One country. Hola, hola, hola. Seven days. Oh my god! And no idea where to next. The fact that you don't know what's next is crazy. I've been doing some crazy stuff the past days. We're going in! Yeah, look at that! It feels like it's been like a week or two weeks and it's only been like two and a half days. Look where I am! What's up, Israel? You don't get to see this view every day, right? Day three, nature day. I'm amazed by the beauty of Canada. It exceeded my expectations. I've never seen the leaves with so bright yellow and red and the green. It was really pretty. We came in a great time because you can see the trees, they're changing color. And I never saw red trees, so it's, it's a unique experience. At this moment, I don't believe like everything is happening to me. I don't know. It feels like more like a dream. So it's, I don't know, like probably in like a month I'll be thinking about it and I'm like, what the hell? Like, did that just happen? Nice to, meet you. Hello, nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. Welcome to the Portage store here in beautiful Algonquin Park. We have an amazing time planned for you guys. Uh, we got the canoes ready, we got the food ready, okay. we got the tents, food, food, the sleeping food. bags, yeah, the tent, the what? fire Green starting bags? kits. No. The, way. Oh, yeah. Camping? We're going camping. The <laughs> you guys are going camping? Oh my god, you're gonna take a look out there. We're going to the true Canadian wilderness tonight. Unbelievable. Yeah. Suddenly we're camping here and I'm very excited because I only camp like when my tent is like five meters from my car and the supermarket is 10 meters from my car. Oh my god, we got to So there's the bears mountain. out there, there's you know raccoons that like to steal cool. food, but it's okay, we're gonna be okay. So apparently I'm camping. I've never done like anything like this before, so it's a lot of things that I have to learn and do and hope so. It's good to go. I don't know if I'm like up for this, you know? The whole park is over 7,000 square kilometers. One third of my country. There you go. It's huge, right? Now today we're gonna make our way up the lake here. We're gonna do a little portage and we're going to the next lake over. But even just that is wilderness. Camping for most people would be like, oh, it's just camping, or oh, yeah, it's camping, so fun. And for me, it was like, I've never done this, so I didn't know what to expect. And of course, I was scared for that. I noticed she's, she's a little nervous because she di didn't want to go into the water. She didn't want to bring her bathing suit. And then when she found out we stay in the night, she was like, I don't like it. It's okay because it's part of the experience. I believe that when you're uncomfortable, you grow. And I bet you, tomorrow she will say it was fun, for sure. Land! We found land! Tomorrow, probably there, they'll be hurting my, my arms, but I feel like stronger now. I didn't even know like what Portage mean. I kept seeing like the signs and it, it, it seemed funny for me, like the drawing of a man and like a canoe, but I didn't know that that was a thing. And, and I asked like, why would you do that? And he's like, okay, so it's the easiest way to carry a canoe because you're walking. If you do it like this, it'll probably hurt your arm. And you need your arm to paddle, so it's a smart idea. Yes. 
that one. Stop. Sorry. <laughs> Race you to the top. I win. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a pro at camping because it wasn't that hard. I was like scared that I couldn't do like all this stuff by myself, but it went good. It was smooth, so I'm I'm happy. Now it's time to enjoy nature. After like all the crazy three days we had, I just gonna lay back, look at the water, breathe deep, and have fun. I'm picking up woods for the fire tonight. Starting with the smaller ones, and then we go bigger and bigger and bigger. So I have to make sure that the sticks are like dry, because if they're wet, they won't work. I learned a lot about myself. If it was for me, this is not like the stuff that I'll be doing like in Canada. But now that I'm doing it, I know like that I can. I'm gaining like new skills. So probably I'll do it again in the future. I learned a lot. I think that I won't survive like doing it by myself, but I've learned it, so now I lost my fear. I can practically do anything at this point. I feel stronger. <laughs> Stay tuned for our next episode. And enter our contest, and maybe you could be our next winner. Hello, sir!